everyone. My name is Teddy. Today I'm going to introduce one of unique features of WISE 4210, which is size survey mode. Here I'm going to introduce the topology of size survey. There are two methods to do the size survey, and their display of the result are different. The first method is by memory button. Its topology is shown below. You can notice that it does not need any of USB cable or PC. It is easy for user to do a quick size survey. It only sends one packet when push the memory button one time. Then, WISE 4210AP will reply one echo packet, including ISSI value. Last. The size survey result will be shown on the WISE signal LED directly. By the number of LED, we could know the ISSI level. The second method is by WISE Studio Utility. Its topology is shown below. The operation is proceed in WISE Studio. Therefore, the user need to connect WISE 4210 node to a PC. WISE 4210 will send multiple packet to AP. The number of packet is adjustable. After AP receiving the packet, it will send echo packet with RSSI level to WISE 4210 node. The size of a result will be shown on the WISE Studio, including error rate, RSSI value, and so on. Size survey is very important and useful to help customer to know the signal strength in the environment by checking the RSSI level between AP and nodes. Here is an example for a real size survey application in our Linko factory. We can see that the red point is AP and the blue points are the end node. By doing the size survey, we could quickly understand the wireless environment in each area. Now, let's do some practice. First, let's try to do the size of it with membrane button. Before doing the size of it, you need to make sure that the AP and node are in the same frequency. Okay. First, uh, let's press the membrane button for about 3 seconds. The green LED of status will constantly on, which indicating that it is now in size survey mode. And after pressing the button one time, it will send one packet to AP. You could also observe that the TX LED turn on once very quickly. The ISSI level result could be shown on the signal strength indicator. The different number of LED indicating different RSSI level. And last, you could follow the flow chart to make the node back to the normal mode, which is used for normal data transmission. Now, let's begin our second practice. We are going to do the size survey by WISE Studio Utility. Before doing the size survey, we will also need to make sure that the AP and node are in the same frequency. Okay, let's begin. First, connect WISE 4210 node to WISE Studio by micro USB. After entering the main page of WISE, click the size survey to enter size survey mode. Different from membrane button, the user could choose how many packets to send at one time. After the setting, press start to begin. During this moment, you could also notice that the TX and RX LED is blinking on the WISE 4210. The result could be shown here. You could see the error rate 
ISSI level, average, maximum, and minimum, and a back of number and a fail status. The result of each packet could also be shown here. If you want further analyze, you could also save the result to a CSV file in your, to your local computer. That's the whole demo today. Thanks for watching.